Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about scissor mechanisms and where should I work. First let's start with a simple mechanism. So we have this scissor mechanism right here. Which is being pulled up by a force we call P. And this point right here is called D and the angle between these members is 30 degrees let's say and each member is 45 millimeters long and this point right here is where it mechanism is and it pivots around this point which we'll call A so now let's write all of the parameters here L equals 0 0.045 meters which is 45 millimeters and let's say that P is for instance 50 newtons And the angle theta is 30 degrees. Now we want to solve for how much force pulling this causes this side because when we pull a scissor mechanism it might have a larger force which it pulls this side with because of the mechanical advantage. So the solve this we'll use a principle called virtual work which is basically virtual work y a is well we'll first solve y a which is the coordinate how far up this these are in this which is two times the length of each member times sine of theta and the same thing for the y of d But this time it's six times because there's six members in between this. I will put it a bit to the side. Six times zero point zero four five meters times sine of theta. And when we will solve this, we get from this first one y a equals zero point zero nine sine of theta, and for a y d we get zero. Point twenty seven sine of theta, and now I will see how it fits right here. And we'll basically imagine that we change this angle right here by an infinitely small amount, which we'll call this is the notation for an basically infinitely small change in the angle which is this is basically delta but it's just a different symbol to signify that it's an infinitely small change so the 
we can write it like this the infinitely small change in y which is basically the infinitely small change in where this point right here is when this angle is changed by an infinitely small amount we can write it as 0 0.09 sine of theta times oh I mean cos because the derivative is of sine is cosine times the infinitely small change in theta and for the infinitely small change in the location of this point D right here we can write it as infinitely small change in displacement of point oh, I wrote it already which is basically 0 0.0 Zero point zero twenty seven cosine of theta times this and now we can write the equation for the virtual work. I need some more space right here. I, I, I'll see how it fits. I think it will fit here. So, yes, I need a bit more space. So, we can write the equation for virtual work, which is this right here. My writing it like this and it ha because it's a scissor mechanism it has to be in equal equilibrium because of the third law of Newton which says that every action must have an equal and opposite reaction so this force I mean this virtual work right here can't be higher than this virtual work of point A meaning that we can subtract the force times infinitely small change in distance of point D this is basically the equation for work equals force times distance but this is just with virtual work and now because we wanted to find out the equilibrium well or, or I mean the force F right here we'll write it like this we'll substitute subtract the force times virtual movement of point A oh I mean YA so basically this means that we can solve for this unknown which is F by writing it like this the infinitely small chain yeah, is zero which leads to 50 which comes from right here P, we pull it up with 50 newtons times 
zero point twenty seven cosine of theta, which is thirty degrees. times the infinitely small change in angle theta minus force times 0 0.09 cosine 30 degrees which is zero because it's in equilibrium according to that Newton's third law I just talked about. So from this we have one unknown which means we can solve this and if we solve this it is force equals 150 Newtons. So here we have it it basically increases the force three times, which means that the ratio is one to three in this mechanism. And it does make sense because this is one third of the way up here, which means that the force is basically gaining a three times as much mechanical advantage as this one right here, which means that we'll pull the thing out of the bottle with three times as much force as we exert on this point P right here. So yeah, this was virtual work and scissor mechanisms. Thanks for watching. I'll be making a couple more videos like this in between my projects because I figure that because the project takes <coughs> because the projects take such a long time I can make a couple of videos in between like this so it doesn't get too boring so thanks for watching and have a nice day